The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. Gildersleeve is brought to you partially transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. We say one and only because there just isn't any other salad dressing like Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is different, and it tastes different. Miracle Whip tastes so good, it's become the most popular salad dressing ever created. More Miracle Whip is sold than the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Try it. Make your salads better tasting with the one and only Miracle Whip. Well, the great Gildersleeve's cousin Emily has been visiting him for a week now, and she's captivated everybody. Perhaps her most ardent supporter is Leroy, which means that Leroy doesn't spend so much time with the great Gildersleeve. But does this disturb his doting uncle? You bet. I'm not particularly upset about it, Bertie. No, sir. I'm glad Leroy likes Emily. But I don't see why he has to follow her around like a puppy dog. No, sir. Of course, I can see Leroy enjoys doing things with her. Yes, sir. But I'm afraid the boy will monopolize her time. Make a nuisance of himself. And she won't enjoy her visit. Yes, sir. Leroy should spend more time with me. Yeah, I mean, let her spend more time with somebody else. She's made a lot of friends. Yes, sir. <laughs> My friends seem to like her better than they do me. Yes, sir. In fact, Gertie, I can't think of anybody who doesn't like her. No, sir. There has to be something wrong with anybody who doesn't like her. Yes, sir. Bertie, what's wrong with me? (laughs) Mm, She didn't tell me. Or did she? Oh, well. I don't know why I'm fretting about nothing. Cousin Emily's new in the house, and when the novelty wears off, Leroy and I'll be the same old pals. Just as close as ever. Not that we've ever drifted apart. Hi, Uncle. Well, good morning, Leroy. Nice to see you, my boy. It is? You're all spruced up, too. Hair parted in the middle. Looks nice. Cousin Emily's idea. Well, I guess I liked it better parted on the side. You get to like it. What's for breakfast? Uh, Leroy, before breakfast, would you mind running out and getting the morning paper? Gosh, out before I eat? I need food. Haven't eaten since way last night. I'm too weak to make it to the yard. (laughs) All right, my boy. Just thought you'd like to do something for your old uncle. Sure, right after breakfast. Hey, here comes Emmy. Leroy, let's not call her Emmy. It's Cousin Emily. Good morning, Frog Morton. Well, good morning, Emily. Hi, Emmy. I mean, Cousin Emily. It's Emmy to you. We're pals, aren't we? <laughs> sure, Emmy. Yes, yes. Leroy, after breakfast, would you run down to the corner and mail this letter for me? Heck, I'll do it now. Thank you. Leroy, I, I thought you were too weak to walk. Well, this is airmail. I'll fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so sweet of Leroy to run down before breakfast. I really should have written Georgie days ago. Georgie? Well, you know, that cute, curly-headed boy I met on the train. Oh, him. Well, Emily, let's sit down at the table. And I haven't written Roger. And poor Bobo. I can see him pacing up and down in front of his tent, waiting for a letter. Does Bobo live in a tent? Frog Morton, he's the cutest major in the whole United States Army. Oh, well, good. Let's start the grapefruit. It looks wonderful. Bertie serves the best food. Good thing I don't have to watch my waistline. But I'm so energetic and peppy, you know. I guess that's why I get so many compliments on my gorgeous figure. Uh, Yes. I'll answer it, Bertie. I'll bet anything it's Harry. Harry. She 
was out with him just last night. You wouldn't be calling at this hour of the morning. Hello? Oh, hello, Harry. It is Harry. How does she do it? Harry, you naughty boy. You shouldn't call before breakfast. Of course I haven't had breakfast. I need my beauty sleep. Oh, Harry, you say the nicest things. Oh, brother, she's living in another world. <laughs> go for a drive this afternoon. You're a real doll to ask me, but I can't possibly go. She can go as far as I'm concerned. I promised to take my little cousin Leroy swimming this afternoon. Now hang up like a good boy. I have to have breakfast. Goodbye, Harry. Call again. You'll call again. Leroy. Well, at least you remember to bring me the paper. Here's the one paper, Emmy. <laughs> He's forgotten me. Thanks, Leroy, but Throckmorton, wouldn't you like to read the paper? No, thank you. I'll just sit here and read the handwriting on the wall. I go out after he had his breakfast? No, see, he's upstairs cleaning his room. Cleaning his room? Miss Emily got him in the habit of doing that every morning. Oh, busybody. What's that, Miss Gilfrey? It's nothing, Bertie. I'll see Leroy upstairs. Yes, sir. I think I'll take Leroy down to the office with me this morning. Get him away for a while. He's always asking to go there. It'll be nice for Emily, too. Give her a chance to write to Roger and Major Bobo and talk to Harry on the telephone. Yeah? Leroy, it's me. It's I. Oh, come on in, huh? Well, cleaning your room, I see. Yeah. How would you like to go down to the office with me this morning? Well, gosh, what about Emmy? Well, I know she's taking you swimming this afternoon, but I... Thought you'd like to fool around the office with me this morning. Well, gee, Uncle Emmy's going to show me how to tap dance this morning. Tap dance? Yeah, she put taps on my shoes and everything. Look. I picked that up just watching her. Yeah, well, I just thought you'd like to go to the office with me. Some other time, Uncle. Yeah, sure. Some other time. Uh, Leroy? Yeah? I don't have to go to the office. Maybe we could do something else. Just you and me. Well, gee, Uncle, I... Well, I happen to know Emily would like to write some letters. While she does that, you and I could go see that new movie at the Strand. Oh, Emmy and I saw it yesterday. Oh. But I think you'd like it, Unc. Well, I don't want to go alone. Hey, I know something we can all do. You do? Great. What is it? You can come along and change the records while Emmy and I tap dance. (laughs) No, thanks. I have to go to the office. Tap dancing. That Emily has Leroy dancing a jig. She's like a puppet on a string. I'm sure she doesn't realize she's pulling him away from me. I have a notion to have a talk with her. Nah, I'll win him back in some underhanded way. Yeah, I mean, undercover. Hello, Petey. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. (laughs) What can I do for you today? Well, I'm on my way to the office, Petey, and thought I'd pick up a magazine. Caught up with your work at the office, or just planning to read till the work catches up with you? Petey, I just want to occupy my mind. I take it there's a vacancy there. <laughs> All right, Petey. I'm trying to forget my problems. Yeah, I'll take this news magazine. Yeah, well. Petey, have you ever watched somebody you were fond of drift away from you? Yes, I recall the summer we were vacationing at Niagara Falls and Mrs. Petey drifted away. <laughs> oh? She got in a canoe without a paddle. I tell you, I was worried when I yelled for help and nobody took me seriously. 
They didn't? No. You see, Mrs. Peavy was a little heavy in those days, and they just thought it was somebody going over the falls in a barrel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Peavy, I don't believe it. <laughs> Neither do I. I was just trying to help you forget your problem. Yeah, it'll take more than a tall story. Frankly, Peavy, Cousin Emily doesn't realize it, but she's drawing Leroy away from me. You don't say. She's always doing things with him. I never see him anymore. Well, if I was Leroy, I'd rather be with her, too. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, Peavy. For instance, today, she's teaching him to tap dance. My, my. And that's no activity for a two-fisted boy like Leroy. Now, I wonder if she'd care to give me some dancing lessons. Really? I wouldn't care to tap dance, but I've always wanted to learn the conga. Ta-ta-ta-ta, boom, boom. Ta-ta-ta-ta, boom, boom. Really? Stop it. You know, I, I could always do the ta-tas, but I never got the hang of the confounded boom, boom. <laughs> now, Peavy, be serious a minute. Why do you suppose Leroy suddenly prefers Cousin Emily to me? Well, she's the live one. What interesting things have you offered to do with the boy? Why, only this morning I invited him to go with me to the office and sweep out. But he preferred to tap dance. Yeah. Darn cousin. Mr. Gildersleeve, it's not a suggestion, but you might try doing things with Leroy that she can't do. Oh? Let's see now. What can you do that your cousin Emily can't do? Well, uh, chances are you can smoke more cigars than she can. <laughs> All right, Petey. And if you want to compete in something strenuous, you might persuade her to end in Russell. You have a considerable advantage in weight. Petey, I wouldn't take an unfair advantage of my own cousin. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I look a little silly to the neighbors throwing this baseball against the side of the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By George, the thing to do is get Leroy interested in a he-man sport. Yeah. <laughs> when Leroy sees me out here, he'll forget all about tap dancing and come running. <laughs> Let me see if I can curve this ball. <laughs> ah, look at that. <laughs> Jealous me, you still have your old stuff. In college, I was the best substitute pitcher the scrubs ever had. <laughs> hey, Emmy, come out and see what I'm doing. Hello, Leroy. Hope I can trap Emily into playing ball. Hello, Frog Horton, playing baseball. Yeah. Hey, you got a new bat and glove. Just happened to pick them up on the way home. A good game for men. I'll say. Well, Leroy, care to play a little game? You and me? Well, sure, but what about Emmy? Oh, I don't think Emily knows much about baseball. She can sit on the porch and watch. Now, wait a minute. I'm not going to sit on the sidelines. I want to play. Well, if you insist. Oh, boy. Who's going to bat first? Me. Could I try pitching? You bet. Yeah, but let's get way out in the street. I'm quite a slugger. Okay. I'll catch an umpire. You're fine, Leroy. This far enough, Hunk? No, no. Let's go a little farther. I hit a long ball. I don't want to break one of my windows. Gosh, nobody can break a window from here. No, guess not. Now, Emily, this manhole cover will be home plate. The idea is to throw the ball across the plate. I know, I know. Play ball! All right, pitch it across, Emily. Here it comes! Three, right, one! <laughs> well, I'm used to a man pitching. Throw this one a little harder. I'll try. Leroy, two. Leroy, I didn't swing. Besides, that one was outside. How do you know? You didn't even see it. <laughs> ready, Scott Morton? Real ready. I'll knock the cover off at this time. This one may curve. Yes, yes. Look out! <laughs> Well, good pitchers are seldom good hitters, and I was a pitcher. Hey, Emmy, why don't you bat? I don't want to pitch. All right. Yeah, here's the bat. Give me that ball. Oh, look, girl, she bats left-handed. Good. You'll have to bat both left and right to hit this one. 
I'm ready. Pitch it over. Bravo! Yeah, I'm not playing. I'm dead serious. Here it comes. Zeke. She broke my heart. The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. There are lots and lots of ways to make a salad special. You can garnish it with fancy radish roses, use slices of fluted cucumbers, or add carrot curls or bits of fresh herbs. You can serve that salad in a handsome salad bowl or on your most elegant platter. But if the salad dressing you use isn't just right, you're bound to be disappointed with the results. So use care in your choice of salad dressing. If you want a dressing with a lively, teasing flavor, a flavor that's not too mild, just sharp enough, a flavor that's really delicious, use Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a flavor you won't find in any other salad dressing anywhere because it's made from a secret Kraft recipe, a recipe that was created by Kraft to give you the best qualities of good old-fashioned boiled dressing and fine, rich mayonnaise. You'll discover Miracle Whip has a marvelous texture, too, creamy, thick, and smooth as satin because this dressing is blended thoroughly with special Kraft beaters. With such wonderful texture and flavor, it's easy to see why Miracle Whip has become America's favorite salad dressing and actually outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. For better-tasting salads with or without fancy touches, make Miracle Whip your salad dressing. Just be sure you see the name Miracle Whip on the jar you buy. Remember, there's only one Miracle Whip, and it's made by Kraft. Ever since his cousin Emily came to visit, the great Gildersleeve has felt that Leroy's admiration for him was being transferred to cousin Emily. He tried to counter this by getting Leroy interested in he-man activities, and his hopes ran high when he promoted a baseball game. Then the mighty Gildersleeve struck out. She not only struck me out, Bertie, but when I lobbed one over to her, she really double-crossed me. Yes, sir. I heard the ball go through the window. That was a home if I ever saw one, right into your home. <laughs> Why, George, I've a notion to make her pay for the window. Yes, sir. Leroy, of course, thought it was very funny. She sure made a hit with Leroy. There must be something I can do that she can't do. Emily's the smallest Amazon I ever saw. Hi, Unc. Hi, Bertie. Well, Leroy. Hello, Leroy. Where's Emmy? Oh, who knows? She went for a spin with that Mr. Harry in his shark suit convertible. You know, it's kind of lonesome here when she isn't around. Well, Leroy, your old uncle's here. Yeah. We don't need Emily around every minute, Leroy. Before she came, you and I did things together. We can do things together again. Well. I did it! If there's something you want to do, you just name it. Anything at all. I'm ready. Anxious. Coming, Bertie. You think it over while I answer the phone, my boy. Okay, Unc. Leroy, you up to something? What do you mean? You got that little smile on your face like the cat that ate the canary. You up to something? Bertie, if you could do practically anything you wanted to do, what would you do? Well, that depends. I think I'll start by getting Unc to take me horseback riding today. Leroy, you know your uncle's afraid of horses. He don't want to go riding. Since Emmy came, he wants to do anything I want to do. Now, Leroy, don't you go playing both ends against the middle. Gosh, Bertie, how often does a guy get a chance like this? Leroy Forrester, you listen to me. Well, that was Judge Hooker. He wanted me to drive over to Center City with him. Yeah? But I told him you and I had plans. Now, let's see. What are the plans? Aunt, how about taking me horseback riding this afternoon? Have to make some... Horseback riding? On a horse? We ain't talking about no miracle, Ralph. 
It's something you and I could do, Unc. Real He-Man stuff. Well, there are other He-Man things we could do. We could take a hike around the reservoir. Gosh, anybody can take a hike. Even girls. Even Emmy. Why don't we do something Emmy can't do? Well, that's the idea. Yeah, I mean, we just might go horseback riding. Well, uh, Emmy won't feel left out if we do, will she? No, she's from the city. She couldn't ride a horse without a steering wheel. Of course, if she does feel left out, I can do something with her later. Leroy. And then I'll do something with you again. Well, let's settle for the horseback ride for now. Come on, Leroy. Okay. If we hurry, Emily need to know where we are. Oh, hey, here's Emmy. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Harry. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Leroy Frockmorton. Hi. Where are you boys off to? Well... I'm taking me horseback riding. Horseback riding? I've forgotten that people ride horses. Yeah, that's a horse on her. But I'm game. I'll go along with you. Yeah, that's a horse on me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess we'd better get into the saddle. Unc, you're the biggest. You ought to ride the big one. No, Leroy, I was never one to take the biggest piece of cake. Perhaps Emily would like to ride the high one. Oh, no, I want this little bay. Oh, easy, girl. Don't step on me. Yeah, look at Emily skedaddle on the way. She's nervous. She's pushed her luck too far. Well, so have I, but she'll never know it. Oh, come on. Let's get going. Well, I'll help you into the saddle, Leroy. Oh, I don't need any help. You worry about getting on yourself. Oh, boy. Well, you did it. Now, before I get on, I'll give Emily a boost. Never mind, Scott Morton. Look at that. She hopped in the saddle like Hopalong Cassidy. Come on, I'll let's take off. Yeah, don't rush me, Leroy. Steady, Cyclone. Steady, steady. I wonder why they call him Cyclone. <laughs> Put your foot in the stirrup, Throckmorton. Yeah, I know how. Ah, if you can't pull yourself up, why don't you climb the fence and then jump on? <laughs> Leroy, I can get on a horse. Hmm. Two stories high. Man could get dizzy up here. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 now. Oh, now. Confound it. Come on, Leroy. We'll counter ahead while Throckmorton's getting used to the horse. Okay. Get up, boy. Now, if you watch, I'll show you how to pull. Look at that, Emily. She rides like an Apache. Yeah, come on, Cyclone. We're going to catch it. Sick. Hey. Hey. Not that way. They went the other way. Stop, Cyclone. Whoop. Three. You watch out for that limb. Where's the break? Cyclone! Cyclone! Oh! Poof! What a sneaky thing to do. He's heading for the barn. Well, Emily can't beat me. I'm going back and take a riding lesson if it kills me. You know it might. <laughs> See here, Mr. Gibson. If you're any kind of instructor, you should have me riding by now. Mr. Gildersleeve, I'm afraid you'll never be able to sit a horse. Well, how can I sit on him when he keeps bouncing up and down? Well, let's try going around the corral once again. Get on the horse, Gildersleeve. Well, uh, Gildersleeve. Yeah? You lift yourself up. You don't try to pull the saddle down. <laughs> how do you lift yourself up? Sorry, Cyclone. I know just how you feel. Yes, yes. Gibson, are you being sarcastic? I didn't pay you ten dollars to insult me. Oh, yes, ten dollars. What do I do for money? Hi, Ed! Oh, Leroy! Hello, Scott Morton. What a wonderful ride. Yeah! Whoa, boy! Huh, do you take a riding lesson? Me? No, I was just... 
just discussing the finer points of horsemanship with Mr. Gibson here. My, isn't he gorgeous? You mean the horse? Well, <laughs> the horse is, too. All right, Gildersleeve, let's begin again. Well, I... This time, why don't we put the saddle on a bale of hay and start from there? Gibson. Mr. Gibson, you're so wonderful with horses. I wonder if you'd teach me to ride. Well, I'd be delighted. Good. How about right now? Emily. But, Miss Emily, I watched you ride, and frankly, I've never seen a more beautiful horsewoman. Well, thank you. But just because I'm pretty doesn't mean I know a thing about horses. Oh, brother. (laughs) Come on, Mr. Gibson. Show me how to get on a horse. Emily, you don't need Mr. Gibson. Well, I feel a little silly trying to tell you anything about it, but... Oh, come on and lift me into the saddle. Lift you in. Well, here it goes. Oh, 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 Mr. Gibson, you're so strong. (laughs) Gosh, get your horse and show me the best trail for a beginner. Uh, delighted. Uh, excuse me a minute, Gildersleeve. I'll just take your horse. Come along, Cyclone. Emmy, I thought we were going swimming this afternoon. Uh, tomorrow, Leroy. Shall we go, Miss Emily? Uh, yes, but I'm so afraid of horses. You better hold my hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> How do you like that? Taking a riding lesson on my ten dollars. Unc. Yes, my boy? Hi. Going home and playing baseball, just the two of us. Good idea. Just you and me. Right, George, that's the best ten dollars I ever spent. The great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just thirty seconds. Wonderful partner for salads and cold cuts. That's deviled eggs. And for some of the most delicious deviled eggs you ever tasted, make them with Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a lively, teasing flavor, a peppy flavor that's just right for those eggs. It's a different flavor, too, one you won't find in any other salad dressing. Get a jar of delicious Miracle Whip tomorrow. For extra good deviled eggs and for some of the best-tasting salads you've ever put a fork to, there's nothing like Miracle Whip. It's getting pretty dark, Unc. Can you see the ball? Sure. Pitch it over. I'll knock this one clear into the next county. Well, just a second. I got to dust off the ball. Yeah, I don't know why I worried about Emily winning Leroy away from me. He's forgotten about her already. You ready, Unc? Hey. Who's that coming up the street? Hmm. Nice. Pretty far away. Oh, brother. <laughs> Wonder who that is. You ready, Young? Maybe if I hit the ball down that way, I can go down after it. Get a better look at it. Oh! You're all right, Leroy. The boy's probably tired of playing baseball anyway. <laughs> if she's new in the neighborhood, the least I can do is introduce myself to her. Be sociable. Hey, Young, get up to the plate. Yeah, quite a dish. Yeah, I mean, plate. I mean, go ahead, my boy. Pitch it over. Here it comes. I'll hit it right down there toward her. Hey, key one. High one. You let it go, Leroy. It's too high for you. I'll get it. Right, George is coming down right where she is. What a break. Come on, lady. Heads up. Stand back, miss. I'll get it. Hey, she caught it. Oop. You're out, Brock Morton. Emily. Oh, my goodness. Good night, folks. See you next week. Gilda's Leave is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Lillian Randolph, Charlotte Lawrence, George Neese, and Dick Legrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gilda's Leave.
having a picnic make those picnic sandwiches taste extra good with Miracle Sandwich Spread. Miracle Sandwich Spread is made by Kraft from America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip, and spicy relishes. See what a wonderfully different flavor, what tang, Miracle Sandwich Spread adds to your meat or cheese sandwiches. Or use it alone between slices of bread for a sandwich that's really thrifty and quick and easy to fix. Stop at your grocer's first thing tomorrow and take home a jar of delicious Miracle Sandwich Spread. Tonight, hear the best of Groucho on NBC. NBC.